So here's our word problem. Um, if a projectile is launched from ground level with an initial velocity of 96 feet per second, its height, s in feet, uh, t seconds after launching is given by the following. So it gives the height in terms of the time t. So when will the projectile be greater than 80 feet above ground level? So we want the projectile to be greater than 80 feet above ground level. Right, so plugging in what S stands for, we get 16T squared plus 96T is greater than 80. And we subtract 80 from both sides so that we can have a standard form. So 16T squared plus 96T minus 80 is greater than zero. Now we're gonna solve it as if it was an equality and then we'll deal with the um, checking part later on. So minus 80 equals zero. And it's a lot harder to factor this, right? It's a bit more time consuming. So since they all have 16 in common, I'm gonna take out a negative 16. Okay, so that makes this t squared. It makes this one 6t. Because I'm taking out a negative, there's a negative left because it's negative 16 times negative 6 is 96. And then here it's going to be plus 5 because 5 times 16 is 80 equals 0. So now we have something that we can factor much faster. So it's t minus 5, t minus 1 equals 0. So if we solve for this, there's no way that negative 16 is equal to zero. So the only two times that it can happen is when t minus five equals zero or when t equals five, and then when t minus one equals zero or when t equals one. So we have two spots to look for, one and five, and then we have to see when it's positive or negative. So once again, we're just gonna start from the factored form. So we will always have a negative Right, so whichever case we have, we have a negative. And the first case that we're going to look at is when we have, uh, let's try zero because it's one and five. So zero is here. Right, if we test out zero, we get a negative times a negative times a negative. Oops. So this part is going to be a negative. And then for the next part, let's try two. So negative 16 is going to be always negative negative or 2 minus 5 is going to be a negative and then 2 minus 1 is going to be a positive so in the middle we'll have a positive value here and then anything above 5 16 is negative and let's say 6 6 minus 5 is positive and then 6 minus 1 is positive so in general we'll have a negative we were looking for when it was greater so we were looking for the positive part all right so parentheses here parentheses here and everything in between. So when x is between 1 and 5, or sorry, we're working with t, so when the time is between 1 and 5 seconds, it'll be greater than 80 feet above ground level. So since this is a projectile, it's going to shoot up and then come down. So what it's saying is this place happens to be 1 and this place happens to be 5. So in between these two sections, it's above 80 feet. Okay, and you can check that by plugging in. If you plug in any values between one and five, not including one and five, you should be getting a value that's greater than 80.